Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's noon. Um, as usual, before we start the business of the day, I'm just going to give a couple of seconds to allow you guys to come in before we kick off. Um, how have you guys been? You know, those at work, those on traffic, those at home, working from home, how has everything been? I'm sure you guys have been using your day judiciously. Today is indeed a good day. Just sit tight and flow according to the tune of what we have for you guys. I can see from my attending attendees list a couple of names that I am familiar with. That's cool. Thank you for showing up once again. Yeah, I think we'll just take it off from here since I have a couple of oh, a number of people here. Um, good afternoon once again and welcome. Um, for those of you guys that are joining us for the first time, my name is Gagba S. Yahaya, and I'm the training coordinator of the Temple Small Business Development Center. At the Temple Small Business Development Center, helps small businesses start and grow. I will offer free one-on-one -on -one consulting and a variety of low to low cost webinars. We are proud to be part of the nationally accredited network of the Small Business Development Center, which has over a thousand networks across the United States. We are here this afternoon for a webinar on Facebook and Instagram advertising. Uh, a copy of the PowerPoint and the link to the recording will be sent to all the attendees. Being a webinar, all the attendees have been muted. However, we always encourage you guys to drop your question on the Q&A or the chat box. Uh, without further ado, please allow me to welcome our wonderful speaker, even as he takes over the floor for the presentation. David, you are welcome. Thank you, Garba. Always a pleasure to serve alongside you. Um, hello, everyone. Welcome. Uh, honored to share some information today that will hope, hopefully transform the way you look at Facebook and Instagram advertising and uh, maybe transition the way you do it from here on out. So uh, just in the chat box, as, as for those who've um, come to a session that I've done, I always do this. I, you know, I believe there's always opportunities to network and to connect. You never know who's in the room. So if you could, in the chat box, put your name um your what what part of pa or or nj sometimes we have people from delaware what part of the delaware valley you're from um and your business right and what, what you do so your name where you're from your business and then what you're looking to learn today around facebook and instagram so i believe i'm going to cover a lot of things that you are looking to learn but uh still want to ask and see so in case we need to steer the conversation in a certain direction we can do that all right so i'll put i'll put them in the chat here name uh location um business and then what you are looking to learn all right so okay amy welcome amy um ad aw jury design in yardley pa awesome got julie awesome welcome julie lewis uh, Lewis Martin Hanover PA for YWCA and um, hope to find more ways to interact with supporters. Superb. Uh, we got Frank in the building. Frank um, is OLMA Photography, Indiana PA. How to improve my social media presence. No background on Instagram. Okay. No problem. We're going to cover that. Royce, welcome. Uh, Northeast PA, Barracuda Proof and Spa Installation. Okay, cool. Lisa, welcome Lisa, uh, Sprite Communications, a healthcare public relations agency in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Want to reach my buyer? Absolutely. I love that, Lisa. I'm going to help you do that today. Uh, Leslie, uh, Center Hall, PA. Um, Center Hall, PA. I'm just moving my screen down. Um, hoping to know where to focus my time. And uh, Leslie, sorry, Leslie Snyder LLC, hope, hoping to hoping to know where to focus my time to hopefully get conversions on website. Superb. All right, Julie Pittsburgh, PA, Grow Green Roots. She makes homemade soap. Looking to learn more about social media in general and how to increase followers. Absolutely. Amy Wassum, um, would love to learn how to how to make engaging posts and the basics of Insta. Absolutely, we'll cover that too. Um, Charles Ben, Delaware app developer, how to target my customers. Definitely, definitely. Uh, Peggy, welcome Peggy from 
Central PA, Suncom Industries uh, Incorporated, a nonprofit hoping to be able to learn how to maximize Facebook. Yes. Welcome, Samantha of Montgomery uh, uh, County, PA. The company is Nostalgic Restorations by Samantha Thomas Art. Very cool. Dave D. Nicola, hopefully I'm saying that right. Um, Williams, Williamsport, PA. Artist new to advertising, but welcome, Dave. No worries. We're gonna go into all of those components of advertising. Susan, Sue Griff, Griffith in Ford C Ford City PA. No business yet, just trying to get started, looking for options for marketing. Well, great. You picked a great uh session to, to learn from. Um Co Cody Wolf, uh Clarion County PA, bike rental, advertising, business startup. Great, great. Welcome, welcome, Cody. And welcome, Sandra, Sandy Burger, Burgers Furniture and Mattress in, in Dickinson City Smoke Shop. How to maximize social media marketing to increase business. Yes, we'll definitely do that. Uh, Lynn, I'll read a few more and then we'll get, get, get um, you know, started. Uh, and again, please, please Google your fellow um, classmates in here. Uh, you never know what opportunities, what uh, collaborations can come about. Uh, Lynn Cohen, American Red Cross, need to recruit more volunteers. Awesome, awesome. Welcome, Krista. Uh, Krista is an event coordinator, Cedar, Cedar, Cedar Creek Catering, based in Media, PA, Delaware County, uh, but, but covers uh, Delco, Chester, and Bucks County, parts of NJ, Delaware. Looking to get more attention for our event and general daily posts. Excellent, welcome, welcome Quentin. Stellar cooling and heating, uh, Philadelphia PA, looking for more ways to reach more clients. Excellent. Jennifer Kranick, uh, orthodont uh, Kranick Gulland Orthodontics, hoping to learn how to target market. Superb. Jonathan Takum, um, Jonathan Takum, Chavez, marketing and sales representative at Jira Landscaping and Tree Service. I'm looking to find more job leads and expand our business social media profiles. Uh, Lori, again, I'll read I got a lot of messages. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna read a few more. And then, wow, we got 46 people in here today. It's great. Um, Lori Kersey, King of Prussia, too many Facebook accounts, want to condense uh, them. We are, uh, we area pet service company, Sof and Bean Pet Care, uh, Desiree Pemberton, Pittsburgh, PA, Pemberton uh, Enterprises, event rentals, need to learn the basics of social media marketing, uh, Sharonda Jones, Lehigh Valley, PA Baskets and Whatnot, LLC, Custom bit Gift Baskets, read two more and then we're going to get started here. Uh, we got Kathy Ver Verheen, uh, Kathy Berg Bergen's Promise, Northern New Jersey, private nonprofit serving youth and families with mental behavior, substance, and or de development health issues. Learn about how to market and or recruit on these social platforms and measure the outcomes. Very nice. Uh, Tracy Berry. Hi, everyone. Tracy, owner of All Things Philly Boutique, straight out of Mount Airy, would love to learn how to continue to engage my audience on IG. Again, welcome everyone. I, I, I'm sorry to get to every single, well, you know what? I got a few more minutes. I'll go down all the way to um, Makasi and then, and then we'll get started because there you never know. Again, you never know who's in the room. Um, so I'll read these last few and then that'll be it. So I'm gonna stop at Makasi. Um, Kajana Smith, um, music producer and mixing engineer currently Living in Sacramento, California, ironically, I used to live there too. I'm looking to learn ways to improve my social media presence and engagement with supporters. Excellent. Nicole of Kodiak HVAC Solutions, Central PA, how to generate more leads and better social marketing on social media. Yes. Suzanne, uh, Get Gettysburg PA, Soil Microscopy Lab. Uh, Jose, Jose uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Uh, Cus Cusquito Rosario Cultural Beverage Company, hoping to learn uh, keystones of social marketing, social media marketing. And then Suzanne is looking to uh, ass assess soil for living microbes to help grow with no chemicals. Uh, Julie Mader, 
uh, in McKean County, PA, teaching artists for seniors. I'd like to find out how to market my target of caregivers for new product. And then Makasi Faison um, from Connecticut here trying to uh, start the small online store. Just wants to learn about social media marketing in general. Excelente, excelente. All right. So, and then we got, oh, I got a few more. Regina from Evoke Thought LLC looking to learn how to target more clients. And then Regina Oaks, uh, diversity and inclusion uh, consultant. Superb. Wonderful. Wow. We got a great full house to, uh, this afternoon. And um, again, excited to serve you all. I'm going to share my screen and uh, we're going to go ahead and, and dive in. We got a lot to cover. Um, so yeah, I see a question here from, um, let me just go back to the chat. I see a question from Samantha, a uh, career coach and the enrolled meet for another Zoom meeting also happening right now. I don't want to miss the information you're sharing here. Is there a way I can access the recording? Uh, yes, Garba will um, be providing a recording uh, to all attendees. So, yeah. All right, so let's let's go ahead and dive in. We got we know a little bit of I know a little bit about who we have here today, and I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, share my screen as you probably see, and then we're going to get into everything that we have today. We're today we're talking about uh, Facebook and Instagram, and specifically how to execute Facebook Facebook and Instagram advertising correctly. Key emphasis on correctly. A lot of people are not seeing results from their Facebook and advertising, Facebook and Instagram advertising, or a lot of people uh, don't know how to do it, right? So um, by, by show, I'm just taking a little quick survey. How many of you have tried Facebook and Instagram ads, whether boosting or um, just type in yes in the chat box if you've, if you've done any type of Facebook or Instagram advertising and no, if you haven't yet, that's perfectly fine. This is a great place to be if you have it as well. So yes, no, a lot of yeses, some no's. Okay. Great. Great. But they plan to. Okay. Great. That's very helpful. Very helpful to know. Um, now I'm going to ask another question based on that. Um, how many of you have generated leads and sa leads or sales if your goal is leads or if your goal is sales from your advertising were you able to successfully gain leads and sales yes or no yes or no i'm expecting a lot of no's but some some yeses okay yes a few no yes okay not really okay it's a mixture great well 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 excellent you, you, if you're a no we're going to help turn those into yes. If you're a yes or a little bit, we're going to turn that into more, more than a little bit. Okay, so that's the goal for you for today. Um, okay, so a little bit of background um, on myself, social media enthusiast, uh, been in this space for over 12 years, a contributor for a couple of places, sociable, and bear with me if you've heard me share this. Uh, again, I always have to be mindful of the person that's new in the room that doesn't know who I am, so um, sharing that on behalf of them. Um, co a contributor for Sociable, Social Media Today, Huffington Post, strategized for various business owners, churches, nonprofits, and Fortune 500 companies. Um, I founded, initially started my, uh, laid my hat in the ground and on, on, on uh, SEO and uh, Kingdom, my company Kingdom Business Solutions, uh, which focused on websites and social uh, SEO development and, and helping people improve their Google rankings. We then transitioned over to um, Kingdom Social Media, which focuses more on digital marketing and provides uh, training, um, consulting, and execution of digital marketing campaigns for various um, social media market uh, for various agencies through social media marketing. Um, I used to work for work for a company called TerraCycle as the global digital media manager. So I got a lot my a lot of my foundation um, working for on behalf of. Um, a company that was working with Frito-Lay, Kraft, Huggies, and many others. Um, I'm also a best-selling author. Um, I'm also a graduate of the Goldman Sachs 10,000 Small Business Program. If you haven't done that, you should. It's an awesome program. Um, and I'm an adjunct professor at Temple University, where I teach social media marketing as well. So um, 
can say that I'm pretty passionate about what we're, we're going to talk about today. Um, we've been featured in many different places, recognized here in Fun Times Magazine on cover a couple of years ago when I was under, under 30, no longer under 30 club. Um, some other awards recognized. I actually, I'm, I'm, I'm of Ghanaian descent. Um, um, I was actually just in Ghana uh, last week, just got back. Um, uh, I've been featured in many different places uh, for articles, things, uh, social media today, Yahoo, Hootsuite, Entrepreneur, Dell, and many, many other places. We, we also have served uh, many different um, uh, influencer, influential leaders and organizations. So here to name a few, uh, Dell told me, you know, one of the top 40 motivational speakers in the world, Dana Falk, celebrity chef, uh, the second, uh, second person here. Um, then uh, Larry Boyer, uh, um, one of the top uh, global economists, and he's a big data, AI, artificial intelligence guy. Um, Dorita Walker, former VP at Prudential. John Samus, former NBA player for the, for the Sixers, for the Kings. Mark Blount, Blount former uh, Boston Celtics player. Daniel Alley, the millionaire mentor. Scott Patinga, Scott Patinga serial investor. Uh, um, Becky Davis, uh, top coach in Atlanta, just took on a uh, role as a CEO of this $30 million company. Otis Amy, former um, player for the San Francisco 49ers. And then we've worked with some organizations here in Philadelphia and beyond uh, Public Health Management Corporation on the table. Uh, Philly Community College of Philadelphia, U.S. Ghana Chamber of Commerce. We've also worked with uh, the Department of Defense on a global level, power up your business, and so on and so on and so forth, right? So I always share a little bit about my story. Why? Because people connect to stories. Um, I grew up in a very strict household. My parents are from Ghana, West Africa. We were given four options. You either become a lawyer, doctor, engineer, accountant. I was on track to become the engineer. My brother was going to be the doctor. And I got into this whole digital media space because uh, my sophomore year as a mechanical engineering major, I said, you know what? I don't really have a passion for this. And I went against my mother's wishes. And I got into this thing called digital media. And you got to remember at the time, this when this was coming out, uh, Facebook had just come out around 2010. Um, you know, in my space was very popular. Most people didn't know that uh, this would be what it is today. But I just followed passion, um, and I worked, uh, you know, for, for for fun, helping my friends grow their social media platforms, their brands. Um, you know, not knowing that this would be a way of life or or a way of communication that we would continue to use in the way we use it today. Um, and I left there from Sacramento, California, um, where I graduated with my degree in uh, digital media to move to um, uh, New Jersey and uh, worked with um, the company called TerraCycle for about four and a half years, uh, running digital marketing campaigns for, again, as I said, for Fortune 500 companies. And then I left. So like a lot of you uh, left, transitioned into full-time entrepreneurship, started Kingdom Social Media. So I share all that to share because um, you know, a lot, there's a lot of fly-by-night social media stuff in, in this space, but this is something that I've been doing. Uh, I'm dating myself here. Uh, I've been doing, I've been really involved in since 20, uh, 2000, honestly, 2008, 2009, professionally from about 2000. 2010 professionally um, I've been in this space. So um, yeah, we're gonna share a lot of information before we get into that information. There's some things we have to deal with. You, um, for those who've attended before, you, you you won't know the answers to this one. Okay, so, so this is new. Uh, bef before we can deal with Facebook and Instagram advertising, we must deal with one thing. What do you think that one thing is? And we're gonna take a guess, type in the chat box. What, can, what do we have to deal with before we break down um, oh, and Susan, yes, I said, uh, Suzanne, sorry. I said, uh, Ghana, G-H-A-N-A, -A. yes. Uh, target audience, Lisa says. Um, it's a good answer. It's not the answer I'm looking for. What do we deal with before we get into it? have an account? That's a good one too, Lynn. Definitely, we need account. Nor goal, I love that. That type of account, Lewis says. These are great answers, great answers. Honestly, great, great, great answers. What's the purpose? Establishing your brand. Not what the closest is, Suzanne. It's 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 your mindset. Your mindset. We have to deal with your mindset, right? So all I love the answers. I love the answers. But before we can do any of those things, uh, I always always refer back to the movie The Matrix when Keanu Reeves playing Neo uh, wanted to learn a skill, whether it's riding bikes or 
or um, Taekwondo, they he had to put this install the software into the back of his head. And then, and then from there, he was able to then execute. So I look at it, I look at it in the same way. If we want to be able to execute and have the success in anything we do, we have to have the proper mindset. And I believe there are mindsets for everything. There's mindset for health, there's mindset for business, there's mindset for advertising. So there are three mindsets that I believe that are really important to have um, when it comes to paid advertising. The first thing you have to settle in your mind that advertising is not optional. It's just like you just you just make up your mind that you know what it is going to be like paying taxes. I don't have an option. It's going to I, I'm going to do it. It doesn't matter. I, you know, obviously there are different levels of budget that you know people can use for advertising, but you gotta just kind of gotta set in your mind that like oh if I'm going to take money out of my business. Um, or an area of my business, I am not touching advertising and marketing. I am going to leave that alone because it's too vital. It's too important to my business, right? So, so the first thing we want to make sure we have clear is that advertising is set in our minds that we will do it. And it's not an option. It is a part of the business that's never going to be shifted away. Oh, we can't advertise this year. No, this is something that we're going to make sure is a staple in our business. I love what Stuart Henderson Britt said. He said, doing business without advertising is like winking at the girl in the dark. You know what you're doing, but nobody else does, right? So, so we have to continue to keep ourselves out there. We leave it or not, it, it is really important to continually keep your business out there, um, advertising, marketing, um, and I can't stress it enough. We'll get into some intricacies of that in a second. We're actually gonna get into the platform, so I hope you have your computers ready because we're gonna actually touch the platforms today um, and along with content that I'll be sharing. So mindset number two as an advertiser is that you are a scientist, not a teacher. Uh, you are a scientist, not a teacher. A teacher teaches from a position of, I know this information, this is what it's going to do, this is what's going to work, this is how it's going to work. Um, a scientist comes from, I think this is, this is my hypothesis, I think this is what will work, I'm going to test it and see, let's see. So a great advertiser is always testing, uh, they're never assuming I know everything, I know this is going to work, I know this is the, it's going to re re resonate. The best advertisers are the best testers, the best experimenters, the best, um, you know, collaboration or combinations of of ad or graphics or or um or uh you know copy or text and you just continue to test so i love what david ogilvy said the, the the godfather of um, advertising said never stop testing and your advertising will never stop improving so you don't actually get content you don't ever get to the point where you're like we are doing great i got too many leads, more than I can handle. I'm getting too many. I'm getting so many sales. It's just overwhelming. It's never a point of, well, I don't. I can just keep this on and run this till it dies. It's. It's never. It should never be that way. We should always look at it from a perspective of, I have something great. How can I improve it? Even if it's just a, a, a minimal percent better, how can I improve? Always, constantly improving. So when you have that mindset, you'll never get to you'll never get stagnant or you'll never get caught off guard when changes come or when things happen because you'll always be in the mindset of um, I, I'm never content, never content with the ad, always improving, always doing better, always can do better. Mindset number three is that if you believe in what and this one's less about advertising, this is more about you and, and helping you to advertise. If you believe in what you provide, you have a moral obligation to sell it. I'm going to take a, a step back here because uh, there's a stat that goes around all the time, and I don't think people have digged into the root of the stat. The stat is that um, 80% of, I, mean, I think it's about 80% of businesses will fail within their first five years, is what, what people say. Um, and really, the reason, if we look at the root of why a business fails, right, is, is usually because of lack of cash flow, lack of lack of revenue, right? And when, when you think about the lack of revenue, what is the reason for the lack of revenue? Uh, re lack of revenue comes from a lack of the either somebody in the organization or the person starting the organization um, not making enough sales. Where does the lack of sales come from? It comes from the fear of rejection. 
and the fear of of doing what they need to do, the 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 actual things that they need to do, right? So where does where where what does this belief do? This belief breaks that fear of rejection, which breaks the fear of uh, which stops you from not selling, which stops you from be, failing in business. So this is, I believe, a root 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 issue that we all must get clear. If you believe, so we we, we saw I saw a lot of businesses in here from from uh, businesses based into spas, businesses based on um, into communications, businesses based into um, uh, photography. All of those things. So if you believe in whatever you're selling, you have a moral obligation. More, It's morally right to sell. A lot of people have a hang up with selling. Oh, I feel bad. I, you know, sub, subconsciously, they don't want to sell or they don't push their product hard enough. Well, if I have the cure for cancer and I'm and I'm and I keep it away from people, you, you guys would probably consider me as an evil person. If I have the cure and I'm not selling that cure to people to help other people, that's morally wrong. You should see the same thing in your business. If you don't have my photography, because my photography is excellent, you don't have my spa services, you don't have my um, science services, you don't have what I have, it's morally wrong for me to have such great value and not offer it to you. So when you have this clear, then you don't feel the shame of pushing your ads out there putting your promotions out there, building these sales pages, promoting your business on the level it should be. So I hope we got that clear. Are we clear? Can I, can I get a, a yes in the chat box, or a chat box if we're clear in all three of these mindsets and we're going to promise ourselves to operate in these? Yes. Awesome, Bernie. Awesome, Desiree. Awesome, Sandra. Yes. Awesome. I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you. So now, now we're going to, we, we're clear on the mindsets. Let's dive into some Facebook advertising stuff. Okay. So what is advertising? First thing that we have to understand, advertising is a form of communication that attempts to influence the behavior of a defined target audience. Any message developed and placed with the ultimate intention of persuading a group to take a specific action, such as buying a product, can be sit, considered an ad, right? So an ad is bro broken out into all these things um, as a whole, okay? So um, when, when, you, when you break it down, there are two main types of advertising. So before I get into that, though... Um, to be considered an ad, you don't need to specifically mention a product or service. In fact, a lot of the ads we see on TV, right, are more about cultivating a general sense of awareness, of, of building a brand, um, and, and, and less directly uh, about influencing a decision for somebody to buy right away. Now, I'm going to break down the two different types, main types of advertising. There's general advertising, and then there's direct response advertising. Before I even go further, what do you think is the best type of advertising for us as small business owners to grow our business is it you can just put ga if it's ga or uh dr if it's direct response ga type in uh, and this could be interactive i want i want your help dr i'm seeing a bunch of dr 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 oh you guys are smart sharp yes so yes that's the answer it's direct response advertising is the best way to go ga or general advertising is like this Right, Coca Cola will put an ad and they'll say something like, They don't make them like they used to. We do, which is great. This sounds great. But when we think about it for majority of small businesses, we don't want just the brand awareness, we, though it's good. We don't want just a general advertisement out there. But here's what happens a lot of people actually mirror and imitate what they see from media, what they see from other uh, advertisers. But we don't realize that. They have spent billions of dollars to get to this point where they can, they, like, even if I took away the Coca-Cola Coca -Cola bottle and I just and I just had the picture of Elvis and 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 this quote, you could probably still decipher that this is a Coca-Cola uh, commercial or com uh, campaign. But most people haven't spent billions of dollars like Coca-Cola or McDonald's or Pepsi to be able to do this. So you can't market like that especially as a small business. So what is the way we need to market? We need to do direct response advertising, like something like this, like Rosetta Stone. They have a, a New Year's flash sale. They, they're telling you what the product is. They're telling what you, what the value is. The value is it was is at $4.99, but now it's at $1.74. There's a clear call to action. Shop now, get my special, buy this, scarcity, deal ends, right? All of these things have to be in place because we are dealing with more of a direct response angle, and we are desiring for more people to say either yes 
to our product or um, or basically come to a point where um, they put their information in. So I think we're clear on that. So I asked a question earlier on about Facebook ads and boosted posts. Now this correlates back to, uh, and when I say Facebook ads, I'm referring to Facebook and Instagram because they're both together tied into one. And you'll see as we go into that. Um, so so here, here is, here is, here are the two, two main angles, right? You got Facebook advertising uh, slash Instagram advertising, and then you've got boosted posts, right? So most people, when I, when I asked the question earlier, my assumption is that you did a boosted post. Um, and uh, I, won't, I won't ask for the survey again, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that most people did a boosted post on Facebook. They did a boosted post on Instagram, right? So if that's the case, Guess what your uh, guess what boosted posts are. Let, now now we're 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 building the layers. Guess what boosted posts are when it comes to advertising. Is it GA or DR? Guess what uh, you can type in the chat box. Is is a boosted post GA or DR? GA. Yep. Smart group. GA is the answer. Boosted posts are naturally general advertising. Why is that? Because the way the system works, it doesn't allow you to be defined and it doesn't allow you to add a lot of the pieces that you need to advertising uh, to advertise correctly. So here, here's the boosted post. The boosted post uh, uh, to, to your page timeline, is, it allows you to apply money in order to um, boost it to an audience after, of your choosing. This is a simple way for you to advertise on Facebook and Instagram um, and, it, and it differs because it's not created in the ads manager, it doesn't have all the same customization features. I'm gonna break all this down in a second as well. So the ads are created through the ads manager. Um, the ads that are, are, the Facebook ads is the difference. This is the difference between Boosted and the, and the Facebook ads or the business suite or what, what uh, Facebook calls now the meta business manager, manager. They're changing things all the time. Ads are created through uh, the ads manager and offer more advanced customization solutions there are many advertising objectives to help you reach your specific business goals and the audience you care about the most, like optimizing your ads for app installs, website conversions, video views, shop orders, and many more. So here are three reasons why you should never, ever boost Facebook and Instagram ads again. I'm going to I'm going to prove it right now. Number one, uh, Facebook boosting and Instagram uh, ad, ad boosting. When I mentioned Facebook Please, that can be used interchangeably, Facebook or Instagram, because they're in the same exact platform. Um, never, never boost because you're limited. The, the, the page allows you to choose a post that's already on your page, or you can create another one. You can choose a target audience, you can choose a budget, and you can choose a duration. Uh, that's pretty much all you can do, which means that you don't have the ability to really hone in um, to your specific audience. So you can only pick what you want to reach, your max budget, and how long you want it to run. Now, here's some other limitations. You're, you're limited to interest targeting, not advanced demographic and behavioral options. You can do broad fans um, plus, plus friends of friends targeting. Uh, you're not allowed to change the placement where the ad is, is uh, placed, if it's desktop or mobile. Uh, well, a lot of people that are e-commerce uh, are, you know, you know, buying things on mobile, right? A lot of people like use mobile, especially Instagram users, right? So if you can't choose that, hey, I want to zero my ad in on mobile and specifically, then you're already wasting uh, advertising dollars. You're limited to reach one audience at a time. You can't do multiple audience types. You can't use what's called a custom audience or conversion tracking. That's more advanced stuff. We won't, we won't, we won't, we won't get into that. Um, yes, the recording will be available to everyone. So yes, you have recordings uh, available of everything that we're going over here. Uh, reason number two, uh, not to boost, it was never ever designed, keyword to elicit a direct response or result. It was never designed that way. That was never their plan. So uh, I already asked this question, how many of you generated sales or leads from boosting Facebook ads? Some of you said yes, some of you said no. I want you to see this from not, 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 not David's words. This is directly from Facebook business. I'm going to read it directly. It's important for any business to identify exactly what they're hoping to achieve with an ad. For example, if you want audience engagement on your page or to develop your brand awareness, 
boosting a post is a great way to maximize visibility and grow your audience. To create more advanced ad types and campaigns, use Ads Manager. They just told you right there and right there in their own language and help center. So you heard it first that your audience engagement and your brand awareness, GA, general advertising, should be done through boosting. And that's the only way you should use boosting. If you, but how many, I don't, I don't need to ask this question, but 95% of you want sale leads and sales. So that alone will stop your aspect, your ability to get leads and sales just by using the wrong system, right? So we're going to change that today. We're going to help you to get into the right system, use the right process so you can get the right results. Okay, so let's let's break down number three and then we're going to get into everything. So I had to go through this first because a lot of people think they're in the right system, but they're actually using the wrong one. The third one is you're in business to generate revenue, not just get likes, comments and shares. Right. Last time I checked, uh, likes do not pay his bills. Now you can say this out loud. You don't have to, I, I can't hear you, but I'd like for you to say this out loud with me. Likes do not pay the bills. Sales do. Right. I realized this, right, that, you know, you can get all the likes in the world, you can get all the shares and the comments and all the great, it's all good stuff. It's all excellent. I believe it has its place, it has its value, but it's not what you as a small business owner are there for on these platforms. You know, you could care less. I think if I had, a, if I had did a survey, you'd rather have $1,000 than 1,000 likes. Most people would, right? <laughs> so, Facebook posting, key key point to, to break down is that Facebook boost, boosting is designed to make Facebook money. It's not designed for you to make money from their boosting. That's not their, that wasn't their aim, right? Um, so what should I use if I'm not boosting ads? We're going to go into that. But if, if, if you found value so far, this is what I want you to do. I want you to get, a, before we get into ads and all that stuff, I want you to get a, get a clear idea of, of putting together a plan. Right. So with, without having a plan, it's going to be hard to do ads correctly. I'm going to show you all these things, but I want you to have a plan. So here's what I'm giving everyone today as a free resource. Uh, you can go to and this is uh, in the chat. OK, so uh, kingdom social media dot com slash free plan. I highly recommend it's a 10 step plan that we use for when we start any campaign for any client. We go through this process ourselves. Uh, for, for them and for us. So here's also what I'm going to do because I want to, I want to help people. So I'm going to give, um, I'm going to give, let me think, because we're dealing with Facebook advertising. I'm going to give a Facebook advertising course to the, I'm, I'm going to make it, make it fair. I'm going to make it, I'm going to random. So be, between now and you have till, till the end of this webinar. Now, between now and the end of this webinar, between now till like 1.30, I'm going to take one person, maybe, two, okay, two people. The first two people, not the first, the randomly, two people from now to 1.30, I'm going to give a Facebook advertising course. All you need to do is get, download and get this free plan. So everybody wins because everybody's going to get a free plan. But I'm going to make this even better for, for some two people randomly. I'll draw from the from those who, who register uh, here. And you'll get access to the free, you'll get access to the courses cost, cost $400, but you'll get access to that for free. Sound fair? We all in? We got that? Kingdomsocialmedia.com slash free plan. Um, so yes, to get the download, you just go to uh, kingdomsocialmedia.com. Uh, yeah, let me put the link in the chat. Um, let me give you, all right, let me put, I think I got to put HTTP on here or, or Garba, if you're able to put the link there too. Sometimes it hyperlinks better. Okay, great. I'll put the link there. I think they hyperlinked. Um, yeah, that should do it. All right, so that, that'll give you guys the access to the free link. So it's in the chat. Again, till 1.30, I will make sure, check back and uh, give every, everyone, the, you'll, you'll automatically get the plan, but but for two two people, you'll get the course. Okay, so why, why Facebook and Instagram ads, right? So let me explain this first thing, and then we're going to get into the platform. So for those that have your computer, not your mobile, you can't do the, what I'm about to share with you. You can't do this on mobile. It's really hard to do it mobile. Um, 
So first thing is that Facebook is far less expensive than all other channels online and offline. A uh, newspaper costs you $32 to reach a thousand people. What is reach? Reach is like when you break down, like not, I like to use the term door knocking. Some of you maybe had this experience uh, where you, 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 you knocked on doors um, or you had you, people knock on your doors uh, to sell you encyclopedias and things of that nature. Um, <laughs> so when that experience, right? So when somebody knocks on the door, sometimes there's a chance somebody could open, somebody might not be able to open. Um, then what happens is um, that I look, I look at that and equate that to reach, right? Because that person, whether they're home or not, the person knocked, they did their part to reach out to the person, but they didn't get it, get a hold of them, right? So a thousand people is like a thousand knock door. Reach, reaching to a thousand people is like a thousand knock doors. So newspaper, $32 to reach a thousand people. Uh, magazine, $20 to reach a thousand people. Radio costs you about $8 to reach a thousand people. Cable TV costs you about $7 to reach a thousand people. Facebook ad, uh, sorry, Google ads will cost you $2.75 to reach a thousand people. LinkedIn ads about 75 cents. It's probably gone up a little bit more. Um, Facebook ads a whopping 25 cents to reach a thousand people. So that's the equivalent of knocking on a thousand digital doors for 25 cents. That's ridiculous when you think about it. Um, the way we can access. So the second thing we have to understand is that Facebook and Instagram ads have more than 600 targeting options. Again, this is not in the boosted aspect. This is in, is in the business manager, which I'm going to take you through. Okay, so you, you can target based on uh, location and country, state, radius, gender, language, so on and so forth, relationship status, education, connections, uh, yes, re reach, reach isn't what well, our, our main goal is. Uh, so Jessica put reach isn't enough. Uh, reach though, isn't, isn't clicks. Correct. Reach isn't, isn't clicks. Um, reach is uh, more of impressions, but, but basically I'm using that example to show you that, um, Google, Facebook is cheaper than any other advertising mechanism when you boil it down. Um, demographics and connections, right? Uh, education. All of these, all of these components are things that you can target based off. I'm going to show you some really cool. Uh, I'll probably ask for a volunteer later of who we can utilize to do this test on. Uh, Facebook re rewards you when you put good content in front of your audience, meaning that if you get a good ad right from testing, as we talked about, and you put a good ad out there for Facebook and Instagram, what's going to happen is your ad cost is actually going to be cheaper as you go because so many people are going to share it. And Facebook loves when your content is seen before people and they're going to shit, you know, allow your cost to be lower. It's going to drop as you go along the more you keep it. Right. So we have proven that boosted posts are significantly more limited than Facebook ad system. So the where you want to go and you can go here now is you want to go to business.facebook.com business.facebook.com. OK. So I'm going to share the first slide for, with you. We're, we're going to go and we're going to create our campaign, right? And when we create our campaign, um, we're going to be able to see uh, all the different um, all the different objectives. These are called objectives. So that you notice there's three main headings here: awareness, consideration, conversion, right? So I like to look at this as no like trust. You know, people do business with who they know, like, trust, right? So, uh, and so conversion is actually where you want to optimize the most, but there's some opportunities here too, okay? So um, when you break it down, right, you have um, uh, brand awareness, reach, traffic, engagement, app installs, video views, lead generation messages, conversions, catalog sales, and store traffic. I highly recommend that, um, and I'll, I'll, Samantha, I'll take your question later on as we uh, get into uh, Q and A. But uh, it's a great question. So, um, so if you if you if you break it down, I like to look at traffic, lead generation, and conversions. These are the most important: traffic, lead generation, and conversions objectives. Okay. So let me go ahead right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually exit out of here, and I'm gonna take you guys to this to the link that we talked about, which is business.facebook.com. Business facebook.com so i'm there already but let me put that 
in the chat. Chat. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Desiree, for putting it in the chat. So follow along with me. I, I know I'm going to lose some people here. Okay. I'm expecting that. Um, so definitely, this is why you want, want to watch the recording as we go back. Okay. So I'm in my. Um, actually, let me get into mine. Okay. I'm in. I'm in my business suite. Facebook business dot com. Okay. So when you go into business suite. And again, like I said, I know I'm going to lose people. And here's the other other thing that's uh, kind of unfortunate or fortunate. Uh, Facebook kind of does what I talked about earlier about their testing. So even as you do this, there might be a little bit of finagling you'll need to do because your interface might look different from mine. They're always testing different interfaces. They're testing different things on platforms and what people are responding to. So even as you go through this, there, the order might be tricky. They might put something down or to the left or to the right. So I just want you to be mindful of that, okay? So I'm going to go to, I'm in business.facebook.com, uh, and then I'm going to go to ads manager, or you can go to, um, let's see here. It might say all tools, and then you go to ads manager, but mine's showing ads manager, so I'm going to pull up ads manager. I'm taking you guys into... I'm taking you guys into an account, okay? So, um, okay, some some stuff in here. So I'm going to take you through a, an example campaign here since this is already. Let's see. Mm, let's see, let's see. No, let me take you to this one. Let me, let me take you into. Uh, actually, I want to take you through uh, this one account. One, yeah, all right, cool. All right, this campaign we're doing right now. Okay, so uh, as an example, this is a lead campaign, right? Um, we're spending about uh, ten dollars daily, right, on uh, each of these cam campaigns. And we're getting about four, three, four, well, actually anything under five is excellent, right? So we have an ad campaign that's going about $6.81 per lead uh, for to bring us leads into the application to this program, okay? So let me show you um, uh, what this ad looks like in the whole process. And then I'm gonna take you, I'm gonna walk you through the process. So what you're gonna do is uh, for those, you're gonna watch this part and then I'm gonna come back in a second, okay? So just one second, I'm gonna, I'm going to take you through what the end result looks like, and then I'm going to show you how to get to that end result. Okay. So I'm in ads manager and I'm in the part where we, um, we, we have a page that we're going to, we have an Instagram page we're going to, we have um, some different types of video creatives uh, that we're going to, and this is an ad preview showing you what the ad look. We have some copy. So we talk about testing. So this is one angle, this whole ad here is one angle uh, for primary text. And I know some of this might look confusing right now, but I'm gonna explain it and we're gonna walk through. I'm showing you the end and then I'm gonna come back to the beginning. And then this is another uh, ad copy angle. This is two headlines. So you see this, we can add multiple headlines. These are two descriptions. This is the URL. So the ad itself goes here, okay? We send people to a, to a landing page. We typically don't want to send people to a, uh, um, you know, a website because um, that's too broad and we want people to focus, right? So notice there's no home or anything else. There's either one option. You can register or not. That's it. You can't do anything else but register. So they can go through the process and then put their name, the information, join, learn more. Okay. Um, so Okay, so I wanted to show you what we're, where we're sending people to. Now, let, let's look at the end ad, what this whole ad looks like. Okay, so this is the ad and looking at Facebook and Instagram. So you can see both ads are done in Facebook and Instagram. So you can see variations. This is how it looks like. This is how it looks like in Instagram. Um, yeah. Uh, business. Lynn, you went to you went to business. Facebook. Dot com. I want to make sure you went to the right place. If you went to business. Facebook, uh, when I went there, it says there are other business accounts with the same email domain. Um, 
Yeah, that can be that can be uh, that might mean you have an account. Make sure you're logged into your personal Facebook um, and then and then it will tie and connect from there. So um, that's that's sometimes what can happen if you have you have multiple accounts. OK, cool. Um, so as you can see, um, I can see this is what the end ad looks like if it, if it was to pop up in a. Um, uh, let's see here. Let me, let me just. Let me just view it on Facebook so you can see the full end result, okay, of how the ad would look like um, as it as it as it launches. I'm going to scroll down. So right here, uh, this is what the ad. This is the ad I'm it's showing in my view. Um, it has all the text. It has a copy. It has the link right to where we're going. It has the video that we developed here. You can see video, and then it has um, you know. Uh, the spots the, the spots are open it, and then what does it do it links back to the the initial um page that i told you about earlier okay so let's go back i've shown you what the end result looks like now let's 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 go to the beginning and how do we get there okay so here is probably what what lynn was talking about and what most of you will probably see right you you start you start here and, and you want to go to facebook.business.com and then you see the opportunity to create a campaign, right? Um, yes, so yes, it, it will show as MetaSuite, Christina. Yeah, you'll see it as MetaSuite as well. They, 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 they've changed it from Business Suite to MetaSuite. Um, so you'll see a, a place to enter objectives, okay? I'm gonna, I mean, I'm gonna come back here in a second. And then you're going to see an ad an opportunity. If you don't have an ad account, it's going to ask you to set up an ad account, right? And so this is where you'll want to go ahead and set up your ad account. If you don't have one, um, and just create a name and then you get started with that process, okay? So let's go back. I'm going to exit here and just pick another account here. Um, okay. All right, since I'm in here, I just I just I just create in here. All right, so um, what what you what you'll do is you'll hit this create button, right? So if you're in ad, um, ads manager right now, you should be in ads manager, or you should see something like that. Ads manager, you go to business settings. Either one of these ways, you, you'll see shortcuts or tools. You go to ads ads manager because again, this is the place where you want to um, set it up. Okay. So I'm going to hit create and um, I'm going to create a new campaign. So if I was creating a new campaign from scratch, this is how exactly uh, how I would do it. So there's traffic, uh, engagement, leads, um, uh, sales, right? So depending on what kind of business you're focused on, uh, I mean, what kind of business you're in, you know, it all determine the focus that you have. So for this campaign, I'm going to go with leads, right? Because I'm in this case, I'm looking for leads, right? But but some cases you may want, you know, your your e-commerce or you want a certain things you want to do, you want to do do sales. So these are the th top three you use: traffic, leads, and sales. Okay. For this one, I'm just going to use leads. Okay. So I hit continue. Okay. Now the first thing you do is you give it your give it a title. Okay. So we'll call this um temple sbdc lead campaign right i'm just using an example creating something okay okay and then categories so this is important don't don't use this unless you pretty much deal with credit employment or housing um or do something political that's the only place you need this is actually going to limit your ads i'll be honest with you this is going to be a li very limiting factor and so if you don't have anything that you're doing in here, uh, great. If, if, even if you think, if you're 90%, if you're like half and half, then I wouldn't use this special ad category, right? Don't use the special ad category, it, it limits you. Okay, so this you'll pretty much keep the same, the uh, objectives, right? That's gonna be from here, from what we did earlier. So it's gonna, it's gonna keep, keep the same. So I just leave that alone, okay? A B split testing is great, but I don't want you, you know, for starting out, for those starting out, I don't want you to get confused and use this yet. 
I'm just keeping from a beginner level right here. I don't want to make things too complex. So what I would do is I would turn on campaign budget optimization. This is just going to make sure that the ad dollars are distributed across the board. Um, how does it change for how we are required to use it? It has to do, oh, okay, for, for your case, Kimmy, then you definitely have to turn this on for special ad, ad categories. What's going to what's gonna change is that it's going to limit some of your, your targeting ability, which sucks, right? So it's going to limit some of your, tar that's, what, that's what it does. It limits your targeting ability um, to who and how, okay? Um, so daily budget, right? So you can pick your daily budget. So, so if I started at $10 a day, it'd be $10 a day. Okay, you can start at $5 a day. I, I like to start at $10 a day and you can increase as you go. Okay, uh, let's go next. Okay, so what we were just on is the campaign level. The first level is the campaign level. The second level is the ad set level, ad set level. So this is the ad set level. So here is where we decide what the, the first level is where we decide the objective. What is the objective of our ad? The second level is where we decide who are we targeting and where is this ad going to get placed? So let's just say, uh, if I'm looking at it from Temple SBDC standpoint, small business owners um, uh, in Delaware Valley. Yeah. So I can use the instant form here for leads. I don't like to use, um, personally, this is a personal preference. I don't like to use Facebook's in a form builder collector system. I like to use my own. So I would go website and uh, yes, no problem. No problem, Lynn, thank you. Um, I'll use my own website. And then there's, um, there's a, whole nother, a whole lot of other steps, but for purposes of time, I don't have time to go into this breakdown, but you choose a conversion event, which means what is the goal? Facebook is smart. Instagram is smart. They're gonna tailor your ad to what your type of objective that you're looking for. So for example, um, if I'm looking for leads, it's going to know the people that are more prone to submit their information from Facebook. It's going to know the people that are more apt to buy if you're doing e-commerce. It's going to know the people that are more, more prone to watch videos. It's going to know. So when you put an objective, you're not just saying, oh, I want to put some name, the thing. No, Facebook knows the lead people. They know the website form people. They know the messenger people. They know the call people. They know the type of person. They studied the platform. They studied their audiences. And the, the machine learning is brilliant. So it's going to know what type of person, what type. So if you're looking for leads, make sure you're looking for leads because the system will look for leads. Okay. Um, uh, awesome, Lewis. All right. So uh, then here's the next thing. This is where, remember I talked about like testing? You want to turn this on. You hit turn dynamic creative on. What is this going to do? This is just going to allow us to be able to, for you to test multiple images, multiple headlines, multiple things, as, as I talked about, always testing. So that's what you want to keep on. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to go down here. It's going to show you budget schedule. I like to just leave this on. You leave that on. This is the most important part of, of the advertisement, in my opinion. Um, well, one of the most important parts. This is the targeting. So when you get into here, uh, we're going to go into... Uh, location. So in our case, right, I, we can target the United States, but but if I was using temples as, as an example, I'm going to do, I'm going to type in, let's see, let's see if I can type in Delaware Valley. Okay, it, did, it didn't have it. Uh, so I'll, what I'll do is I'll just put Delaware. Okay, I'll put in uh, Pennsylvania. Okay. No problem, no problem, Chris. I'll put in um, um, Delaware, Pennsylvania, New Jersey. Okay. So just like that, right? I've got the three states that I want to focus on. Okay. So I've got that. Then I, if I want to change the age, right? We're going to go age. And then let's just say business owners that are 25 plus, 25 to 65 plus. Okay, now this is the part that's most important for the targeting. So you have demographics, interest, and behaviors. So we can go here and then choose based on those kind of things. So education, let's say I want to target a specific, you know, college grad, you know, all the different, all the different areas, right? So I can target that. 
But here's what I like to do. Just a simple, just you know, for me being in the space, knowing, knowing, knowing what what what's in here, I'm gonna type in small business owners. Okay. So no problem, Susan. No problem. So right here, behaviors. Facebook knows who are small business owners and behaviors of small business owners. I'm going to type in small business owners. Here's the other thing I'm going to type in. Um, I'm going to type in, I could do owners and CEO, CEOs, right? Um, I like this other thing, right? Page admins. So typically, and this is probably the same for you all, if you're the Facebook page admin, you're pretty much getting a hold of the owner. So put Facebook page owner, Facebook page admin. So right then and there, look at that. I got about 3.1 million, 3.6 million. But let's say I want to narrow this further, right? Um, define further. I use this tool here, define further. So what I'm trying to tell you is that you couldn't do this type of targeting in the boosted side. You couldn't do it to this level, to this degree, okay? And what, what I'm about to do, and you can't use what we call the Facebook pixel. So again, that's the reason why you want to tap into this. Um, uh, let's say I want to, I, just for purposes of time, I'm just going to put something in here. Like, hey, the, the type of business owners that like Shark Tank, okay? That's their interest, okay? It dropped it way, way down, right? So maybe I wouldn't use that. I use something else. But but you get, you get the picture. So I want to I wanna have a, um, you know, I like to keep it about about a one million audience size audience, depending on how much you're going to spend in advertising dollars. But I like to I like to keep it about a one one million audience size. Facebook is smart; it can get through data very quickly. Okay, so once I've done that, then remember the area I talked about where you can do placements, which you can't do in the other pl uh, boosted platform. Here is where I can change and adjust. So you can see here I'm in the Facebook feed, I'm in the Instagram feed, I'm in Facebook Marketplace, Facebook videos. Let's just say I just wanted to focus on um, Instagram. So, so some of the people that are here just to focus on Instagram, I can run my ad just to Instagram. I don't have to, and I can run all of that. I don't need to, I don't need to deal with Facebook. Or if I want to deal with just Facebook, I can market directly to Facebook. Or if I just want to do both of them, which I like to do, I can have them both. And the audience network is just another bigger platform that allows you to get on a bunch of different sites okay so so you have all the those things um here here's all all, all kinds of devices um yes you can uh lori asked can you can you choose based on profession i love like lori give give me uh give me an example um of a profession you'd like to target i'll show you exactly how we can do that we can we can target we can target based on profession. okay example teachers or doctors Okay, nurses. Perfect. So let's let's do this. Nurse. So, so there's a there's a nurse and a, and a, and a, that's a hard term for anesthesiologist for me. Uh, nurse. Um, let's just do RN. Register. Okay, register. Nurse. Okay. You know what I gotta do? I have to do. I have to do it this way. Let me show you how, how we do this. Nurse, and then I'm gonna come down to the right hand side. So what's important to do? What's important to note is that you pick, uh, and this thing is kind of popping up in front of it. You want to pick. You said so. You can see job titles. You want to pick it based off of job title. So right. So I might choose choose nurse and anesthesiologist, but I want to go go back to suggestion. See there you go. Now register nurse pops up. So you gotta make sure it says job, not behavior or anything like that. Okay. So uh, registered nurse, registered staff nurse, make sure it says job, right? Nurse practitioner, pediatric nurse practitioner. Like I can, I can target very, very, very clear. So one thing I will say is when you're running ads, you, you don't want to do this though. You want to say if your ad is targeted to nurses, uh, don't just say, "Hey, nurses." You know, because Facebook, know you're scared. You're gonna scare them, right? Um, so don't 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 call them out like that. You gotta be very. Are you a medical professional? You know, looking to you know that that you can do, right? Don't don't call them out directly. They'll 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 ban your ad. Okay, so um, farmers, yes, you can do farmers. You can do um, it, literally any profession you can think of is in here, right? Facebook is targeting everything, so you can see farmers. Um, let me see here. 
that's farmer. So there's farmer's insurance, right? That you got to work that watch out for. Um, I would do, let me see. So then I'd hit, so they kind of hide stuff. So what I like to do is you click one and then you hit suggestions and then you see, see here, farming, um, farmer and crop, probably crop farmer might be in here, agriculture, things of that nature, farmer, boom, right there. So farmer under job title. So that's exactly how you, you do that, right? So then let's go to the next thing. Um, we've got that sorted. Then we put, we put in the, uh, um, you know, the, the different devices that we want or different things. You can leave that on and then we we'll go to the next step. So let me get to uh, Krista's. We are talking uh, more about the advertising side. I'm gonna talk about the how to um, create an engaging post on this side here. Um, as we get into the last step here. So if you if you go to if you go to the ad itself, right? So you want to want to pick your imagery, right? So I'm just gonna pick whatever I have in here. So here's a few a few things and I can I can do I can do uh, I can do videos or things of that nature, right? So I can pick my image and video. So what I what I like to do is make your ad if you're going to run run ads and you want to do a thousand by a thousand pixels or that that framework nothing less than a thousand so 1080 by 1080 is good uh, 1200 by 1200 is fine like just in that ratio but nothing less than a thousand yeah no 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 you're fine Chris that's 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 a good question um, so so then what I like to do from a content standpoint and engagement standpoint. So this is actually, we're going to talk a little bit about engagement. Um, what I like to use is a tool called um, uh, Tweak Your Biz Title Generator, okay? I'll put that in the chat for you all. So this helps me get a good title. And this will help you with, with your content, with your posts and things of that nature. So uh, let's assume that I'm um, looking for farming. I'm going to use this farming, what we used earlier. Uh, apply these nine secret techniques to improve farming, right? So you want titles that are going to catch people, right? So, you know, obviously it has to correlate with whatever your ad is. Um, so in my perspective here, so if I was going to choose my text, so this is where the headline comes in. Um, nine... Download, if it was my guide, I'm, I'm not saying this is exactly, download the nine secret techniques to improve farming, right? And then I'd create uh, a primary text based off of, off of this. I'm going to give you guys um, um, my secret weapon for creating copy. So this is going to be good for your creating, creating an engaging post or creating a, an engaging ad, right? So here's here's what I use. I use um, copywriting. Uh, no problem, Sharonda, Sharonda, my pleasure. Um, so you wanna save this and bookmark this. This is a, this is a uh, like a secret, secret weapon, right? So it's the ultimate guide to, to no pain copywriting, right? Anybody that writes, we talk about selling, you got to be able to write copy. This is for your posts. This is for your social media ads. You got to be able to, and we use a lot of formulas, right? So the way to do it right is using formulas. One of, one of my most common formulas is this one, attention, interest, desire, action, right? So if I was to do this, okay, I would take this and put this formula into my ad. Again, assuming we're doing, uh, um, uh, farming, right? Or assuming our 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 ad was nine text scenes. Um, are you having trouble? Um, are you having trouble um, getting? Uh, are you having trouble um, harvesting your crops this season? Okay. Um, so that's, that's my attention, right? So I'm going to erase that. Okay. Do you really care about water quality? What have you done? I like that. We can, we can go with that angle. 
that this this do you really care about i'm gonna just pull what uh suzanne has here right do you really care about water quality right um then i'd interest them and engage them with it, unusual or counterintuitive then then maybe you've been doing it all wrong again i don't know if this is going to be accurate right right so um desire engage if the, uh, you know make sure their heart download we de we've developed this amazingly simple nine step technique that is improving the harvest by, I don't know, 40%, right? Uh, to get access to this, to get access, this is action, right? To get access to this free guide, download it here at farmersgrowth.com. Just like that, I created it off the top of my head, but I didn't create it off the top of my head. I used the formula. So anytime you want to create great copy, great content, use copy formula. There's about 40, not 40, like 60 plus formulas in here that you can use and leverage. I mean, I didn't, I didn't get a chance to go over all of them, right? Purposes of time. Right. And if and, and then I can put a description. Um uh get it while it's still free. Get it while it's still free. Right. So now I'm in creating an engagement. And then I go to I put my URL, farmersgrowth.com. And then my display link, which would be the same link, right? Um, and then and then my pictures and my imagery would show up here. And just like that, obviously this doesn't correlate together but just like that i've created an ad so i saw a question earlier about having issues with my ad cutting off image and text likely uh the ad goes live and displays it cuts off so here's here's where that's happening uh samantha this you gotta turn this off right here optimize creative for each person it, it this is where it does that it, turn that off and it won't happen that's what that's what causes that right so um garba how are we doing on time i know it's already 112 so um, I've gotten to the last step in the process, but I, I want to make sure we're, how, how are we on time? Oh yeah, you, you, you just write on. Okay, so I'll finish off? Okay, <laughs> okay, cool. Um, so, so, so right there, right? We just, we just went through the three phases of, of running an ad, right? For Facebook and Instagram. We went through the first step, which was, the campaign level, right, which is where we chose the objective. I just want to recap, chose leads. Very simple what you have to do in the first step. You choose the budget, right? Only things you have to put your name, your objective, and your budget. That's the first step. Second step is the ad set level. Choose the name. Where is the conversion going to happen? On your website, on a landing page, whatever that's going to be. I suggest it be a website. Then we didn't go over the pixel again. That's we need that we need a whole session just on the pixel. Uh, choose your conversion event. We chose lead, right? And then we turn on dynamic creative, and then we chose our audience, right? Well, I'd probably adjust this now that we're focused on farmers, right? For the ad, so I, I would take these off, right? I take this off. I take this off take this off okay and I probably take this off so now I focus and I wanted to narrow that I can narrow that some more um uh does budget so Christina asked does does the budget per day determine how large the audience how or how often ad is um so actually the budget is going to just give you the amount of 
um, people that you'll be able to reach within an audience. So it actually doesn't determine audience size. So your audience size is going to be determined by your targeting. But how much you reach of this audience size will be determined by your budget. Right. And that that'd be over time. So if, if you're spending one hundred dollars a day, you're probably going to go. You're going to reach more of this audience quicker. If you're spending ten dollars a day, it's going to be you're going to reach some of this audience a lot slower. So you're going to get access to this entire audience. But it's depending on the time frame of how 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 you you get to access that audience. OK, then then we went over placements. Right. Chose for Facebook or for Instagram. And then we next went to the last piece is which is the creative side. Right, deciding, you know, obviously this would be the page. You always choose the name. Uh, you're going to use image or video. You can do image and video as we did in this ad, right? There's an image and that's a video. And then make sure to turn off optimized creative um, uh, for that. And then your text and copy. So just again, remember, use your copy formula from Copy Hackers. And then um, you can use that for headlines you can, and use tweak your bids for your headlines. And then um, make sure you connect it back to your. Um, uh, website. So again, I did this in a short amount of time. I know there's probably a million questions. Um, let's go into Q&A right now. Uh, any, any questions that you have? I, uh, again, you have slides here that will break down some of the things that I just went over. I just kind of did them um, live so you could see, but you'll see on the slides that uh, you have here, it will break that down uh, all of the stuff I just went over. Okay. So, uh, let's go to some questions. Um, let's see. So let's go to, let's go to Christina. Okay. I answered Christina's, um, Christina, I answered Christina's question. Uh, Kimmy Dawson is a time frame section, like $10 per day for 10 days. Okay, time frame. I typically like, so for testing purposes, it takes Facebook and Instagram some time to get the right, get your message to the right audience. So I like to, I honestly like leaving ads on for 30 day, at least a 30 day window, right? Um, so if you have an event you're going to promote, I like to have ads running be well before then, right? So 30 day, 30 day flow of that. Um, um, and I don't like to turn ads off. So if I can just keep the ads off sh short, short time frame, um, I like to do that. Yes. Um, David, just a quick one before we continue with the question and answer. I just want to draw the attention of all our attendees that I just posted a 30 second survey about today's webinar. Uh, so please, you guys, you can spare us a 30 second and fill out the survey, even as it helps us to improve on the services we provide to you guys at a low cost. Thank you. I think we can continue. Okay. Yes. Um, so so the 30, 30 day is optimal, right? I, I don't like to leave it on anything less than 30 days, right? So I, that's what I would that's what I would suggest that you keep it on for at least 30 days. Okay. So at a minimum. Uh, for a time frame standpoint. So, but you can start as as low as $5 per day. If it's very targeted, very focused, you can do that. Um, cool. So that answers Kimmy's question. Uh, Bernie's question. Uh, thank you. She said, amazing. Can we get a discount to your course? And if not, if not selected for this free one, got you. Um, I'm sure thing, Bernie. No, no problem. I, I, I didn't come here to, you know, promote my course, honestly. Um, uh, but, but yeah, glad, glad to do that for, for, for Temple SBC. Um, thank you, Regina. Appreciate that. Uh, Desiree said I had, I had the same question. Uh, good question, Bernie. Uh, where do you find the analytics to show the outcomes for each ad? Uh, good question, Kathy. Uh, so let's 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 go there. Um, okay. So there'll be a, a section right here under charts, but but let me let me show you this. Let me just use let me just use the campaign that's already here in here. So the first there first be one right here. So you see this campaign right here. Uh, this campaign has its analytics right in here um, of impressions, reach, amount spent, link clicks, all those kind of cool things. Okay. So then if I wanted to get uh, 
more. I can get a, a full a full chart here and go to reports and then break down um, a full on report. Okay, so this right here will give me an even deeper report. Okay, and then I can get a I can get more data here. Age, I can get who what what, what age resonated with the ads and you know, gender what what gender. So you can see here, it can, it can get very, very uh, uh, deep here. If I can, if I want to do a trend or a bar, I can see here what happened. So, so that's where you can get the reports. Okay. Um, on average, how much should you spend on ads to receive a decent amount of leads? That's a very tough question, Lori. Um, that's a tough question. There's so many determining factors based on your messaging. Um, so here's what I like to look at, right? Um, depending on whatever your cost is for your product. This is, a, I work a lot of it on the service-based side. So um, we like to, to spend two to three times uh, in ad spend, whatever it costs for one deal. So if the product, the pro, if the, if the, and this does not apply for e-commerce. If you have a product, this is a whole different, this is different. I'm just giving you an idea of some of the things. So if I have a product that costs 500, I'm going to spend at least 1500 in ad spend, right? Three times what the cost of, uh, of that is. Um, and then if I make uh, back and sell, e even if I break even from that, if that's a good, that's a good indicator, right? So breaking even is uh, the, the threshold because you still got all that press. You, I mean, you still got all the impressions. You still got all those things. So that's a very tough question because it varies upon the business. It varies upon the, you know, the angle, all of those kind of things. But there are some, some metrics based on that. Um, Makosi said, this is awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Quentin. Tracy, so informative. Uh, such great information. Thank you for sharing your time, knowledge. No problem, Tracy. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa, for the kind words. Suzanne, any tips in selecting a solid business name? Um, there's this. There's this site. Um, let me see if I can. Um, let me see if I can get you. I can get you. I. I don't. Let's see here. Personal break. I have it in my. Um, in my notes here. Um, I want to get you the, I, I can't remember off the top of my head, but there's this, there's this, um, there's this site that helps you with, with names. Um, uh, I wish I, I wish I could remember it. I'm sorry. I can't remember it, <laughs> but, but there is, there is just look up sites that, uh, help you with, oh, here it is. Found it. Just when I was about to give up. That's, that's how it always works, right? Just as you're about to give up, then it, then it comes. Um, uh, here's here's the site. It's gonna it's gonna be a site that helps you to. And I'm a tool guy. I have, I have a whole bunch of tools and stuff like that. If you if you if you if you uh, if you entered your name today, uh, you're gonna get access to a whole bunch of cool stuff from from me through my email as well. Okay. Um, so yeah, brand name generator. That's that's where you can you know help. It can help you find some some of the perfect names. Um, Gerber, how are we doing on time? I just want to make sure. Oh yeah, we are good. Uh, we've got a couple of minutes left. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so um, from the look of things, it's like you nailed virtually all the questions that actually came up. Okay. Great. I think I um. Okay, thank you, Johan. Uh, thank you, Julie. Any alter uh, Latanya, any alternatives to individuals who cannot afford to spend right now? Any suggestions for free advertisements? Yes. Um, so here we go. Here's here's here. If I so so here's the truth. If you're gonna aim for getting free placement, free advertisement, and all that, you're just gonna have to put in a little bit more work, right? So paid advertising just shortcuts the work. Uh, so here here's what you're what you're gonna use. You're gonna use um, this site called um, HRO, just Google Harrow, help a reporter out. You can get press and media. So this is some of the ways I've been featured on CBS. So that's advertising on all these big media platforms, right? So Harrow would be uh, would be a great would be a great place to do that. So just type literally type in Harrow, uh, help a reporter out, 
and you're gonna do some work, right? I'm not gonna lie to you and say, it's not gonna be a lot of work. Uh, you can be, I'm a source, and this is how you can get some placements on, um, I'm, again, I've used it to get on CBS. Um, I, I know friends and we featured on Good Morning America. I'm not saying it's gonna happen instantly or, or right away, but this is an opportunity, a way that you can get some free, free press. Now, from an advertising standpoint, get on podcasts, become a podcast guest, uh, on somebody else's show, that's a great way to do it. That's, that's going to give you social media and um, posting, and then and then you can still post organically. There's still some some value to that. Um, it's not as uh, fast of a transaction. Um, it takes some time, but obviously posting consistently on your platforms very um, regularly will help you to achieve those goals to get more um, eyeballs. Uh, what percentage of budget should go for your ads? Um, Suzanne, great question. Is that, is that percent of marketing budget? I want to make sure I understand, um, your question, what percentage of your entire revenue entire, you know, is it your marketing budget period? And then what percentage goes to ads? So if you give me a little more, uh, insight on that. Um, Tanisha says extremely informative. Thank you, Lori. Excellent. Thank you. Um, Desiree, what, what, what does cost per result mean in analytics table? Great question, Desiree. It's, it's, so based on the metric that I've put in, I've decided um, that I want to have, let's say I want to have um, uh, leads. So my result that I want is a lead. So the cost per result. So for me, the result is, in that example I shared with you, the cost was, I mean, the, the result is a lead. So if you have, if yours was a sale cost per, it would be cost per conversion, which would be the sale. So if you're selling makeup or something like that, for example, is 20 bucks and you're paying $5 for the every purchase. So it's going to show you the cost per result. For me, it's showing the cost per lead because I put the objective as lead. So whatever your objective is, what will show up in the analytics table. Uh, Jonathan, thank you very much for the information and pride at these women really do. They cheat. Awesome, awesome, Jonathan. Glad you could join us. Uh, awesome, Suzanne, no problem. Okay, revenue. So so revenue, uh, Suzanne, is um, I, I, I typically like to go to anywhere between 10 to 15%, 10 to 15% on marketing and advertising. So um, that's what I like to do. But I mean, that's what you can hear. Usually you hear from across the standard. Most people like to do anywhere from uh, five to 10. Um, I like to do 10 to 15, but um sorry if i missed it how do i get the replay oh uh, yes garbo will make sure that you all get the replay anybody that's registered uh is going to be able to do that so just a wording to convert a lead to a sale um that's a good question too um you're going to have to play you're going to have the short answer is you're going to have to play with testing and experimenting copy but i like to uh depending on your industry uh like some of the things i just shared with you those formulas those copy formulas will help you improve your conversion, but you're going to have to continue to test language and copy and test different copywriters too. Unless you like to write your own copy too, you can do that as well. But either way, you're going to have to do testing. Uh, Desiree, thank you. Amy, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I think this will be the last one here. Uh, Nikolai, in an industry such as HVAC where you need a lead to provide an estimate and then hopefully win the bid, what should the objective be? Yeah, Nicole, I was still, I, I was still, uh, that's Nicole, sorry. Nicole, I, I would still say, um, uh, I would still say the objective would be a lead, right? Um, because you want their information, right? And then from there, you know, you want, you want to hop on the phone with them and, and understand what their needs are. And then, um, and then, and then you can proceed to present a quote and see if they, you know, choose you to, to have the service, but still, still the objective would be lead. So good question. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, okay. I think, wow, uh, Christiana, um, could you just say one or two things about, yeah. um, on what Christiana just asked? Yeah. So, uh, yes, I do know slight, just a small smidgen about the, um, the nonprofits available for for Facebook, they have some 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 criteria that um, you know you want to make sure you get registered. You want to make sure that your um, all your information is documented 
you know, correctly uh, as a, a 501c3b, I think it's called. Um, you want to make sure you're, you're, you're correctly in the system. Look on, I think, GuideStar, make sure you're showing up, you're populating and all those things. And then, and the truth is that the donations can take, I think, 30 to 60 days, especially if you're first doing it. So just be, be prepared that you won't get the money right away. It'll take some time for you to get the, the funds. Um, and, uh, but it is, it is, it is something that you can, you can definitely use that my uncle has that set up for his, um, uh, medical nonprofit. And, um, and it is very helpful to utilize for, for nonprofits and gathering donations for people. So, and you set it up through your business page, all, all that information. Um, yeah, I think we gotta, I think we gotta come to a pause there. Cause we got, a. We're coming to 1.30, but um, for those who uh, um, submitted the, the name information, let me put that link here again. Um, you can access the um, toolkit that I shared earlier. Um, so by going to kingdomsocialmedia.com uh, slash free plan. So let me put that in here for you. Um, and then you can, uh, for, if for anybody that missed it, I'm going to make sure that you have um, access to um, uh, a free plan to, for, that will help you with your social media. And then I'll be given two, two, uh, uh, two um, courses away. And then also you'll be on my list. So I'll be able to, you know, we can schedule some time for those who have other in-depth questions. And I'll, I will, I will announce winners uh, later today. So uh, give me to I'll announce winners after my temple class. So later this evening, I'll be to check out for your email. Uh, you'll you'll all be uh, announced who 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 won the course, the two courses. But still, still get the plan because the plan will be good uh, if you haven't already. All right. Okay. Before we wrap it up, I just want to use this opportunity to thank each and every one of you guys for keeping it a day with us today. I want to also thank our special presenter for a wonderful presentation. Um, I love, you know, the way the whole presentation went. Um, on the same day, just want to thank my fellow colleagues, the Temple Small Business Development Center for their usual support, encouragement for making it possible for this webinar to come into existence. Without further ado, thank you once again and do have a nice day. Bye-bye. Thank you, Garba. Truly appreciate you, sir.